Thank you so much for joining me on Technology Tip Thursday. In this video, I'm gonna wrap up my ChatGPT on Python series. In this video specifically, I'm gonna show you how to export your Python script data into Google Sheets. So let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, so we are now in our Visual Studio Code and we see that ChatGPT provided information that I wanted. The prompt that I gave it was, uh, can you export this information into Google Sheets? So the exact same Python code, but instead of it going to CSV or to a Tableau Prep, now it's going to Google Sheets. So if we're looking at some of the different pieces here, if we look at what we need, we need to import GS spread, we need Google Auth, and then pandas, and then GS data frame. So these are some of the differences that we need from our previous script, specifically for Google Sheets. Um, but you see that everything is the same, right? We still have the player ID, we still have the season that we want, and then we still have the same code. So not much difference there. Um, the biggest piece when it comes to Google Sheets is the authentication that you need. So there is a fantastic video that I'm going to have in my link um, where Pretty Printed, so shout out to you Pretty Printed who created this video, Pretty basically walks you through how to use Google Sheets with Python. It's walking through the authentication, uh, which what you need to do to set up the service principle, the type of rights that you have. So watch this video first. Um, I'm not gonna do a deep dive into it, but this video is what I use in order to get that up and running. Um, but once you do have that up and running, the biggest pieces that you will need is the spreadsheet feed that you want and then your actual credentials. So again, it walks you through that, but there's a JSON file that has your service principle and then your password and stuff in there that you need. So this is what this is looking at. And then what I ended up doing was creating a sheet name called LeBron James in Google Sheets. And what this is doing is opening the sheet and it's creating a data frame and then it's in importing that information into Google Sheets. So again, primarily written by ChatGPT, um, but I did have to do a little bit additional work in order to get it up and running for my particular sheet. So if we go into our Google Sheets, we see that we have this information. We see that my worksheet is LeBron James up here and that I have sheet one at the bottom. So one thing I'm gonna do just to show you that it works, let me go ahead and clear it out. So we see that the data has been deleted. And then if I come in here and actually just run the code, we'll see that it actually is running and that we're bringing back results. We see what it's done. And then if we go back into Google Sheets, um, we see that it's completed. So just to show you in real time, I know I had it on Visual Studio, but I'll delete it again. I'm going here and run the code and go back to Google Sheets. And we see that it's been imported. So this is a way to now, if I want to schedule um, this using a bat file, whatever way I want to schedule my Python script, I can now automatically do this and import it to Google Sheets. So this is how you export your information for Python into Google Sheets. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments. And if there's any recommendations of how to make this more efficient, more secure, um, anything like that, please hit me up, let me know. Otherwise, I will talk to you all next week. Thank you so much for joining me on Technology Tip Thursday. Y'all have a great day.